Resident, anyone who lives in the Skid Row boundaries. The Skid Row boundaries are 3rd Street to the north, 7th Street to the south, Alameda to the east, Main Street to the west. The board shall consist of 9 to, to 15 stakeholders elected or appointed by the president. The stakeholders shall be defined as those who live, work, or own property in the neighborhood and also to those who declare a stake in the neighborhood and affirm the factual basis for it. This definition is from city ordinance and cannot be changed. The composition of the board shall be as follows. Follows 15 as a goal, nine minimum, voting for four seats of president direct elect. The board consists of nine members, and the number shall be shared as SRO resident board members, three. Resident on house, board members, one. Business board members, one. Arts and culture board members, board members, one, a large board members, one, mission board members, one, nonprofit board members, one, resident board members shall prove if, shall prove is an SRO, hotel, condo, lot, or apartment, tenant, or head group of services, mailing address and zip code, terms and term limit, board members, shall serve a two-year terms, four years term limit. Voted unanimously, provision for staggered terms. I apologize, I don't have the description for staggered terms. Absences. Any board member who misses three regular scheduled consecutive neighborhood council governing board meetings during any 12-month period will be automatically removed from the board. If three meetings are missed consecutively, this shall be considered, considered a resignation. Each council board member absence shall be recorded in the council's meetings, minutes, or other manner of council record keeping. And that, of, on missing the required, board, uh, required number of board member meetings for removal, the council Proceeding officers shall notify the board member and provide notice to the board member that their seat has been declared vacant. Any meeting of the neighborhood council governing board, the schedule and notice as per Brown Act, shall constitute a meeting for the purpose of determ determining board member attendance, potential process for excuse, excuse absences. Voted one, four to one in the committee. That's it. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Chair, I uh, just wanted to uh, ask any members who attended those meetings, is there anything that you'd like to add to this report? I know I've several things to add to it. Or anything that you missed, anything starting with uh, both members? No, no, I'm just pointing out. Oh, okay, go ahead. First of all, thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just want to say that um, we hadn't determined board seats. We hadn't voted on board seats yet. We just sort of, um, In terms of the actual board seats, we just discussed. We didn't um, agree on anything yet. We just sort of um, came up with some ideas. I'll think of yeah, we, certain things were actually determined. We took a vote on, but very few things. Things such as the board seats have we didn't decide as a committee yet. So um, I can or Gary can go over those things or you know, we can clarify if needed. What am I clarifying? by the committee and voted on unanimously. The definition of the word resident is as follows. Anyone who lives within the boundaries as defined by a general death is a resident. As defined by, as defined by me? No. no, I don't know. I mean, I mean, the 